Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hello and welcome to this episode of our show. This is your host, Keith Doherty. Today, our special guest is top real estate agent Rose Harris of Douglas Elliman Real Estate, based out of Miami, Florida. Hailing from the glamorous global city of Miami Beach, Rose brings 30 years of successful real estate experience to her craft. Each year, she continues to close multi-million dollar condos and residences, fashioning herself as a top agent at Douglas Elliman. With over 700 plus million in luxury sales and membership in the prestigious Masters Brokers Forum, Rose is respected and defined as a power player in Miami's real estate elite. Her concierge service is tailored to each client's needs for a professional and confidential experience. Her MBA background validates her detailed and flawless interpretation of all aspects of the transaction from contract to closing. Rose sets the standard in professionalism, integrity, and service. Her viewpoints have been highlighted in the Miami Herald, the Huffington Post, the Real Deal, and featured on the iconic Colbert Report. The Rose Report blog and MiamiRealEstateResource.com share her recommendations for the best of the best in real estate, interior design, and green living. One of the things she does to help protect her buyers when purchasing a home is to make sure they do environmental testing. She is a major advocate of performing radon testing, which is the test for radioactive gas in the home, and the reality is most realtors are not aware that Miami-Dade is in a number two radon zone, and although not a required test, as in most other Florida counties, radon gas is the second highest cause of lung cancer deaths in the country. All right, with all that said, Rose, welcome to the show. Hello, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for taking the time with us here today. And, Rose, if we could start for our listeners, what led you into real estate? Was it something that you always knew you wanted to do, or did you maybe stumble into it? Well, you know, I have an MBA, and I was a budget analyst in Boston and then in Miami Beach when I moved back to Miami. And um, I think that I was looking for a career that gave me some flexibility as I was a single mom. And... Uh, along with, you know, loving the style, design, shopping, and uh, all of the different things that I liked about the different parts of real estate kind of gave me a stronghold love for the industry. It was not something that I had planned on, on doing before, but as I looked at the job and, and what it entails and, and my background being that I had an MBA, I thought, all of it worked together very well to give myself a career that gave me opportunity to also raise two children. And, and can you talk about what personal attributes, traits, or qualities you think have most contributed to the success that you've had in real estate? I guess a lot of the different traits and attributes I have, one is I devour information. I like to know everything about everything. I also like the fact that you have appointments and you have to be punctual and show properties that are beautiful and exciting. A lot of the different traits and attributes that I bring about who I am, I, you know, merge with the real estate world. I have a lot of integrity. I give a lot of service. I make everybody feel that, you know, I have a concierge service. I'm responsive 24-7. I'm a great listener. And I'm also a person that can put together a home with a specific buyer. I understand people's needs and their desires, and I work very closely to make sure that each client feels very important. And Rose, do you think you could give our listeners an example of when these traits have played a role in your path towards success? I think that I have a very persevering personality and I uh, believe that was one of the things that has made me successful in the real estate business. I also am very good at practicing my sales skills along with keeping updated on the real estate world. You know, all the information gets changed every day from purchasing and selling and I'm able to take all of that information and put it together 
to give to a buyer or a seller. I think also the fact that I'm detailed oriented, I keep up to date on, you know, interest rates, what the banks are doing. I know who's the best realtors in every neighborhood if I have to make a referral. And I think my traits lend to making every transaction a stress-free experience for every buyer and seller. Excellent. And Rose, I think whenever somebody builds a, a you know a successful business, and sometimes the road to get there always isn't an, an easy one. A lot of times there might be bumps along the way. Can you talk a little bit about some of the adversities and trials that you had to overcome in order to achieve your goals? Well, I think in the very beginning when my children were little and I had to work weekends and the real estate business wasn't as glamorous as it is today, I had to find, you know, someone to take care of my kids so I can work the hours I needed to work. And I think I had to figure out how that fit into my schedule to become a successful realtor. I also think one of the major difficulties is that you don't have a steady income and you have to, you know, being in sales is a lot of times a feast or famine. So being able to budget myself so I could not overspend if, you know, the times were a little tougher or, you know, not be obsessive when the times were better. So you learn balance in this business because the sales business is very much one that changes constantly. And obviously when these obstacles come up, what kept you going despite these obstacles? Why didn't you give up? What was your driving force? I think the driving force for me is that no matter what challenge I take on, I, I'm a perfectionist. I'm a Virgo. I like to do everything to the best of my ability. My reputation is important to me and how I work at any job that I do, whether, you know, it's real estate or cooking or any of my other hobbies, working out, Pilates, et cetera. I always want to be the best that I personally can be. So that gives me the impetus and the perseverance to keep going and never look back. And, Rose, I guess kind of looking forward, uh, what do you see as your vision for your business and your career over the next three to five years? You know, I'm always trying to figure out what the next five years in business is going to look like. And sometimes it's a little difficult because, again, we've had some really strong years and then we've had some weak years. And, you know, this year is a market in transition here in Miami. We came back after the 09 pitfalls and we came back by 12. And now we're kind of recorrecting. So I kind of look at the increasing my business at least 25% because I have a very strong team I put together and uh, we're very much looking to work with all the new millennial buyers and work with the local buyers who are going to move up from condos or smaller homes because their families are, you know, increasing. And we're going to continue to educate our clients and uh, keep them abreast of all of the different parts and parcels of the real estate market. For instance, right now, the interest rates are at an all-time low, and this is a great time to buy. And, Rose, I guess kind of on top of that, what do you feel is the best way that you market yourself as a real estate professional so you can have continual growth? Well, I'm always trying to explore new opportunities to become a bigger, better realtor. It's part of who I am and how to stay on top of the market. Presently, I have a billboard on Main US 1 between Coconut Grove and Carl Gable, which I hope, since it was very costly, will be effective. I use social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, to promote my listings and to give people information about the market. Um, my website, MiamiRealEstateResource.com, is another outlet that I try and get people to look at, which my Rose Report blog will be a part of very shortly. I do a lot of really nice advertising in luxury magazines. One of our magazines is the Element magazine, which comes out and is a national magazine, and it's beautiful. 
and we do a lot of advertising in there, as well as publications that have a broad reach. So we try to be part of the local, the national, and the international marketplace. And Rose, I think sometimes when the general public looks at real estate agents, they don't fully understand the value that they provide from both a buyer and a seller standpoint. What do you think of the biggest misconception that people have about working with a real estate agent? The misconception is that now today with Zillow and Trulia and Redfin and Homes.com, et cetera, people feel that they are quite knowledgeable about the marketplace. Unfortunately, they are not as educated in what I know and what I've seen and what I've been involved in. For instance, I know who lived in the house before. I know who sold it. I know who updated it. I know if it had Chinese drywall. I know if they had a mold problem. Um, a new buyer would not know the same information that I know from having been in this marketplace a long time. So not having a realtor like me on their you know, team would make it difficult for them to know or be knowledgeable about a purchase. So I think the misconception is that you know, they know more than a realtor, but honestly, they don't. And they would, again, I am a big proponent of knowledge and experience matter. And the right realtor makes all the difference. So I think everybody needs to have somebody like that helping them make the best decisions for purchasing and for selling. And Rose, let's say you get a call from a family member or a friend and they're in another state. Now, obviously, with your extensive experience and probably your connections and your network, you could probably do a referral to an agent. But from a general advice standpoint, what advice would you give them about selecting an agent that could best serve their needs? Well, yes, of course, if I have a connection that I feel comfortable and confident can help them, I would suggest it, and I would be happy to make the introduction. But on the other hand, if I didn't and I would have to give them advice on what to do, I would tell them that they should not shop budget. You know, a commission shouldn't be, you know, a way to decide on the realtor. I think that today you can find out a lot about realtors through the Internet and how successful they've been and also, you know, get find out if they can give you the name or two of people they've worked with. So I think there's a lot of transparency today in finding a good realtor wherever you go or, again, asking for a referral from somebody you know is a top-notch realtor. Excellent advice. And, and Rose, uh, obviously you're based out of the you know Miami uh, area. If, if somebody's looking for real estate services or an agent uh, in that general area, what's the best way they can find out more information about you and how you can help them? Well, the best way to find out about me, they can obviously Google me, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Douglas Elliman website, they're all there, Miami Real Estate Resource. And my phone number is available, and I answer 24-7. So I'm really very much a, a part of the community. I work all of the luxury high-end markets from Pinecrest to Miami Beach, Golden Beach, the Islands, Coconut Grove, and Carl Gables. So if anybody needed homes in those areas, that's what I promote the most. Excellent. And Rose, obviously we want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule to come here today and share your professional real estate experience with all our listeners. And if you're listening and you want to learn more about Rose, obviously you can go to her site or you can search her on the many different uh, social media uh, sites that she's on. Also below this interview, we'll have a link to her site and any other contact information we have so you can see how Rose can help you with your real estate needs. So with that said, everybody, until our next show, have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.